Good morning from Legoland, Florida. We're here on a weekend in October, and you know what that means. Break or treat. We're here for the, the big monster party. Yeah. <laughs> this is their Halloween event that happens on weekends. I'm very excited because Jackson gets to do some trick or treating. Mm -hmm. We get to meet some Lego monsters. There's also tons of rides here that Jackson can ride. Yeah. So we're super excited. He said he really wants to ride the tractor ride. Ooh. Yes. And do you want to ride the dragon roller coaster, Jackson? Yeah. 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 We're going to check and see if he's tall enough. So the Dragon Roller Coaster, I think, has a Halloween overlay right now. I think so. So let's go inside. We're going to ride some rides, do some trick-or-treating, and maybe try some Halloween treats. Oh, and of course we have to get apple fries. Oh yeah, apple fries. Let's do it. Right as soon as you walk in, they have the Vampire Hearse, made entirely out of Lego bricks, and it has just over 280,000 bricks, and it took more than 2,400 hours to build it. Is there a skeleton driving that, Jackson? And this is actually based off of the retired Lego Vampire Hearse set number 9464 from the Monster Fighter series. When you're coming in, be sure to check out this A-frame sign right here to get all of the character times. That way, if you'd like to meet the zombie cheerleader, you know exactly when she'll be out. Another thing that we got when we came in was this pamphlet here that tells us exactly where everything is and what is happening and all of the different trick-or-treat locations. And character experiences, Ooh. and specialty treats, and also event activities, so they have a special show. And one thing about Legoland is I love their uh, live, like, actors that do the shows. They're so, they're just, it's so good. They're always really cute, and they do such a great job, so we always try to see the shows. So their new show is called Operation Monster Squad, and it's an interactive show where they're looking for new recruits to try to become a part of the official monster squad. Oh. So we'll see if we can become a, a part of the squad today. Oh. The scream squad. The monster squad. <laughs> also, just at dusk, every 15 minutes, they have a show here called the Jam and Jacks. And these are the jack-o'-lanterns up here. And it's an entire show based around them. And we've seen this before. And we'll see if we can put a link in the description down below. We're not going to be here at dusk today, but we have seen this show before. So we'll put a link in the description down below so you guys can check it out. Oh, we're going through the monster security checkpoint. Let's see, they've got a whole group of people here checking to make sure there's no monsters. It's monster security. Oh. How's it going? We're going to be human. Oh. All right, we're trying to make sure. Lot, right? Yeah. Humans. All right, monster security force. Then we'll have to scan them, and it's a whole process. They gotta okay. get dehumidified. Only, eggs. only monsters pass this point. What kind of monster are you? Right, right. you uh, a hairy one. Right now, the Grand Carousel has a Halloween overlay on it called Monster Party Carousel, where they play Halloween music on the carousel. Look at this giant scarecrow. How are we doing today? Doing great. If you notice around here, there are no crows out. That's so good. Because of me, I scared them all away just for Halloween. You're doing a fantastic yeah. job. Well, thank you very much. How are we doing today? So far, so good. Yeah, we excited to get some candy. Yeah. Are you excited to get some candy? Yeah. Yeah? You gonna go home with a big sack of candy? I hope so. You know, here's the trick. Candy corn counts as a vegetable, so you can eat as much as you like of that. Oh. Yeah, that's the rules. I made it up myself. I like that's it. how I got this tall. Oh, oh, he ate all of his candy corn. There you go. Headed into Duplo Valley. <laughs> Whoa, was that too loud? Are you okay? Are you okay? You loved it? You want to go do it again? Go try it again. I think that same thing happened last time we, we were here. It was a little loud. You want to go give it another try? Um, no. No? You go ride the tractor ride? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, we're going to get on the tractor ride. Also, over here at Florida Prepaid Schoolhouse, you can learn about Halloween. Time to learn about Halloween. Join our schoolhouse teachers as they celebrate all things Halloween. Perfect for ages two to six. You yeah. like it? Yeah. It wasn't too loud? Nice. First stop, the Duplo tractor. He's almost tall enough to ride it by himself. This is what we're gonna get him. We're gonna get in the blue tractor. Jackson's gonna drive and mommy and daddy are gonna sit in the back. All right, Jackson, you're in charge of where we go, okay? You ready? Oh, you're driving us. You're driving us. Yeah, look at you go, buddy. Nice work. What are we gonna see first? Are we gonna see a, a horse? There's a chicken on that roof right there. What? Some pumpkins for the Halloween season. Oh, this one is the, the blue ribbon prize pumpkin. Wow. And a goat. Oh, did you hear the goat? 
Wow. What do you think this guy's name is? Uh, Steven. Steven. Steven the farmer. There's a dog. Wow. Doing good, buddy. Here we go. This is, the, this is our stop. Be sure to hit the brakes. Beep. Up next, the Duplo train. Also, they have a sensory guide for each of the rides. This one says you have to be 34 inches. So Jackson and Mommy are going to ride on the train. And Jackson's very excited for the train. Here they come. Hi, Jackson. <laughs> Next stop, the Dragon's Den. You know, which is right next to the Dragon we, Coaster, too. We always try to eat here, and the line is always so long. Yeah. So today, it's not a super long line. Yeah, it'll be good. We're gonna get some, some hot dogs, some corn dogs, and then they have a special wing here for Halloween. Are you gonna try it? Yeah, I think so. Was it supposed to be spicy or something? I don't know, I didn't know. I, it didn't say the flavor. Is it just barbecue? I think so. Okay. It was confusing because it said barbecue. it said pork. This is what we're getting for as part of the Brick or Treat Monster Party. We're getting the Wacky Witches Barbecue Wings for $12. They're pig wings with barbecue sauce and barbecue dipping sauce. These are called the Wacky Witch's Barbecue Wings. Wacky Witch is excited to share her new barbecue brew, savory pork with barbecue dipping sauce. And then Jackson got some corn dog nuggets. And then me and Jen are going to share a foot long chili cheese dog. And the wings. And the wings. I want to try the wings. Ride, I'm going to ride a roller coaster. Well, I think Jackson I'm might go with you. I'm yeah. riding on the wings. On the wings? We're going to ride on the dragon. <laughs> No, these are the wings that we're going to eat. It's our food. You can ride on the dragon with me. Are you going to ride the dragon roller coaster with Daddy? Mm, mama. No, I Mommy can't, can't. I can't ride it right now because I have a baby in my belly. Because it's a little bit too much for the baby. Because it's a roller coaster. When you're do pregnant you, with a baby, you can't ride a roller coaster. Do you want to ride it with Daddy or do you want to wait with Mommy? Okay. All right, we'll do it. All right, let's try one of these piggy wings. I'm gonna dip it. I just want to know what kind of barbecue sauce. It's a it very is. thick barbecue sauce for sure. It's delicious. It looks good. Can mm. I have you yeah. want to try some of the piggy wings? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. They're good. Yeah. Like they look pretty tender. Look how much they fall off the bone. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. There's pork though, so it is a little bit fatty. Oh, okay. But I think that helps with it, you know? Right. And these I, were $12. I, I feel like, so these were $12. I don't know if they $15. are worth, how many do you get? Five. $15. Five? $13. $13? Yeah. Oh, did you like them? Yeah. They were yummy? Yeah. All right. And I just eat it in here. Why are this? Why? What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm drinking. It's like a little mini pork shank. Oh, yeah. These are really good. Yeah. I would have personally added just a little bit of um, mustard oh. mustard to the barbecue sauce because I like more of a mustard-based sauce. I would have added a little bit of spice. A little bit of heat. It tastes like... Um, sweet, tastes like sweet baby rice. Yeah, it does. It's, it's a, it has a the tiniest kick, but not, not super spicy at all. And it's like a little bit sweet, a little bit smoky. It These is... Are, the barbecue sauce is cold though. Uh huh. I would prefer it to be a little bit warmed up. I don't know. I love these. Yeah, they're really good, right? I feel like for the flavor, they are worth the price. Okay. Oh. There you go. We're having a romantic lunch to the sounds of wolves howling. Are they werewolves? Maybe. I think so. Halloween. This, this place is overrun with werewolves. Can you hear it? And bells. I don't know if they can hear it. Can they hear it? It's I'm just sure. constant howling. Um, lunch was really good though. Yeah, it was. I will say, I saw there was a lady that was sitting behind us that had this sandwich that looked really good. And I was like, oh, where'd you get your sandwich? It looks delici delicious. And she said, I got it at Publix. I brought it in. So you can bring outside food in if you're trying to have like a more budget friendly day. But I will say the food here is pretty good. Yeah. Like those piggy wings were great. I really did like those. The, um, the corn dog nuggets are different than the ones that they have at Disney, I think. The inside looked a little bit better to me than the ones at Casey's Corner. And there is a lot of seating, like in the shade, which is great. There's a show going on over here at the Kingdom stage. Now, French and French and French and French. Oh, no. Some of the best recruits we've ever seen. You know what? Why don't we put all of those marks together? That oh, is a 
Now the gospel. Now the Frankenstein. Hands of Abel. Great job. They have some boxes over here for its wolf sighting sweets from 2.30 to 7. And it says wolf man treats, but they're scratched out and says wolf guy. Wolf guy treats. All right, the dragon roller coaster. Jackson, do you want to check your height and see if you can ride the dragon? Yeah? yeah? All right. We'll do it. It's 40 inches, and he is 40 inches with shoes on, so. We'll see what happens. We'll see if they let him on. You excited to go on, buddy? Well, let's see. Hopefully, we got to just remember, if you're not tall enough, it's okay, though. Okay? We got to check our height. You ready, buddy? Yeah. We've seen a POV of this one. Is it a big hill or a medium hill? Medium. Medium hill. That's right. Yeah. It's like a disco. Look at this, buddy. What do you think? Yeah. Look at bubbles, too. Yeah, it's like a party in here, right? It's like a disco in here. That's what this is called. It's called Disco Dragon. Look at the lasers and everything. Brick or treat magic, buddy. Let's, oh, look, a ghostie up on the wall. Look at the ghosties. And, and, and skeletons. Oh no, it's spraying me. The dragon got me all wet. Going bats up in the ceiling here. Ooh. Spooky, buddy. Spooky. All right, buddy, you ready? Here we go. It's going to be the medium sized hill. Is it going to be very scary? I don't think so. Do you think it'll be scary? No. Do you see it all? It's very short with a lot of twisty turns. You like that? Yeah? On the other side of the line. Go tell mommy. Did you love it? Did you love it? Were you on that last one? Yeah, just that. Oh, okay, because I, I filmed two different ones. I wasn't sure which one to run. You were taller now? Wow. It looked oh. a little bit more intense than I remember. Just like watching it. He was holding on tight, but once we got done, what did you think? Yeah, it was good. So. I'm glad you liked it. I'm, I'm... You're very brave. It's squiggly. It is a squiggly. squiggly. Remember, we went around a bunch of turns. Good thing we got our food when we did because the line is now very long. As we're heading into an area called Curse of the Pharaoh, the trees are even mummies back here. That's so, I want to do this to Arf because we have palm yeah. trees all over our yard. I want to do this. We'll make them spooky. It's so smart. It's like tropical spooky. It's very easy looking. Tropical spooky cafe. <laughs> this was something that I thought was always neat that Legoland did is they have a super brick build where you go through and you build this gigantic thing with the help of master builders. So you have to build, these are called super bricks. So they take a bunch of regular sized bricks and form them into super bricks. Okay, put one right there, right on top of this too. There you go, buddy. Good job. Yep. You're doing it. It's a little bit small, but I think that's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you did Just show, it. show mommy what you did. Can I see? You're still working on it? Okay. As we make our way further and further into the park, it seems as if there are spooky ghosts about. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. So spooky, I ran into the curb. You know what they say? A ghost in the bush is worth two in the hand. <laughs> Making our way into Wicked Sweet Way, just outside of Ninjago. I don't think they have any of the candy stations open yet. Back here, there were a few in the front of the park that were open now, but the ones back here are not open yet. They open at 2.30. That's, you know why they open at 2.30. Tooth party. Yeah, because after you eat too much candy, then your tooth will be hurty. How's it going? Ooh, she's casting a spell, right? Ooh, what kind of spell? Was that a happy Halloween spell? I believe it. I like it. 
You look fantastic. Oh yeah. Thank you so much. Are you ready for Halloween? Yeah. She's Jackson, she knows who you are. She's, she said nice hello. Girl. You want to give her a wave? Give her a high five or a hug. Oh, you want to give her a high five? You can high five her Lego hands. No, we're a little bit unsure of Jackson, what about this? See, look, I'll give her a high five. Boom. So we just met the Lego witch, but there's also a Lego plant monster available. I like how scared this Lego plant monster looks. Does that Lego guy look like me? What do you think? It does look like me. It's got different colored eyes. Yeah. What does it say down here? D-A-D. It says daddy. <laughs> That's right. Also for Brick or Treat, there is a show here at the city, at the Lego City stage called The Unbelievable Halloween Night. And the next one's at 2.45. I don't know if we'll be here at 2.45 because we gotta get Jackson down for a nap, but we always do love the shows at Legoland here at the Lego City stage. They're always so good. We're going to Ford Junior Driving School. Jackson's gonna go drive a car. Once they say go, then you push down on the pedal, okay? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out and then you're gonna be in there. You're gonna do it by yourself? I'm gonna be right here, buddy, okay? Once they get in the center there, I think they're gonna turn you on. And then you'll be able to drive it by pushing the pedal. There he goes. Keep pushing the pedal. Turn your wheel. Turn your wheel. Uh oh. Okay. There you go. Good job. Ooh, that was a proud moment. He made it all the way around that turn all by himself. Look at how happy he is. He's doing so good. Look at this buddy's service station right there. There you go. Make sure you turn the wheel to follow the line. There you go. Just like that. Good job. He made it around the first turn, but watch he didn't. Out, watch out. Follow that line. Turn your wheel, turn your wheel. This turn way. This way. Turn your wheel this way, buddy. Turn your wheel. Oh, it's all done. Oh, that was it. Good job, Jackson. You got a driver's license? Two of them. You got two driver's licenses? Yeah. Oh my goodness. This license certifies that Jackson has mastered the Legoland Florida Ford driving school They'll just driving like, school test. They'll give these to anyone. He ran into every single wall and they still gave them. He's authorized to drive this class of vehicle. Well, wow. bud. I wonder it's just a Ford ad. Well, where do you get these? What? They're built. What do you mean? The Lego? The yeah, Lego? Like, I want to get one for him at, at the house. I mean, we it? have one. Not like this. Okay. <laughs> right, Jackson was very excited for the Rescue Academy over here. So we're going to give it a try. Well, you have to like get out of it and go and pump it to put out the fire. Yeah, you got to pull it that way, buddy. Real hard. So we're headed over to this burning building so that we can put the fire out. You ready? <laughs> Got my firefighter right, shoes everybody. on. Welcome oh. to fire rescue. You guys ready? ready to put out some fire? Go, go. Okay, buddy, here we go. We're going. Keep holding it. Keep holding it. All right, we're making our way over to the burning building. Go ahead, go ahead. Wow, this is hard. This old man will lose it. Oh, no, bud. You got to steer, steer, buddy, steer. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. We're doing good. It's like more pulling up than it is pushing down. And that's oh, the hard part. Yeah. Yeah. We're almost there. And then we got to get out. We got to put out the fire. We got to put oh, out wait, the fire. Push it. Keep pushing it, keep pushing it. Oh, we did it, we did it. Back in the truck, quick, quick, quick. quick. All right, we gotta hurry. Oh no, number six is winning, number six. Well, wow, you're doing so good. Keep holding it, buddy. We did it. We're almost there, buddy. We didn't almost come in, there. we weren't last, so that, we whoa. Did it. Woo. Good job. Big clap, buddy, big clap. We're gonna go and meet the Lego zombie pirate. Ooh, the arg. Right? Is it sharp? No, not quite. Oh, okay. So I had a question for you. What is a pirate's favorite letter of the alphabet? Um. X. X marks the spot. Oh, a lot of people think that it's R, but it's not. It's the C. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that. See? Perfect. Nice. So right now we are in the Halloween season, but come Christmas time, they have holidays at Legoland Florida Resort presented by the Hallmark Channel on select dates November in December. So that's usually just the weekends in November and December. But we'll put a link to the Legoland Florida website in the description down below. So if you're interested in coming during the holidays too, you can check it out. It's very similar to Halloween here, but holiday themed. So Legoland used to be Cypress Gardens, which was Florida's oldest theme park. But 
They have incorporated some of Cypress Gardens into Legoland, but Legofied. So Cypress Gardens was mostly a nature park. And you can see we've got some nature here, some Lego nature. There's a Lego person fishing, a Lego deer up there. What else? Is this a Lego beaver? Wow, a Lego beaver. Oh, and a Lego otter down there. A couple of Lego otters. So last time we were here, they hadn't finished covering Lego Miniland. It looks like it's all finished now. So there's some nice shady areas, a very large shady area to hang out in and look at all the Lego models. Plus this will protect the Lego models too. And they do add Halloween touches to Lego Miniland. And there is a man with a pumpkin on top of his head. I like that, the, oh, <laughs> I like that they're holding up a sign that just says, don't fall. Look, there's a Lego vampire up on top of this building. And I feel like, so there is usually a scavenger hunt throughout the Miniland at all of the different events. And I feel like what you're looking for are the pumpkin headed figures. We'll find out if that's true before we leave, but this is the second one I've seen. Maybe not, maybe they're just kind of everywhere because there's another one over there. As well as, what are these? Are these wolf guys up on the roof here? They are, they're werewolves because this one has a little Lego bone in his mouth. They also did move the opening date of Pirate's River Quest back until early of 2023. It was originally supposed to open at the beginning of November, but because of the hurricane, they had to push it back. There's another pumpkin headed man. Also, I would like to report a murder. A monster disguised costume parade at 4 p.m. Ooh, we won't be here for that, but look at these ladies. Hello. Hello. Good to see you guys. You all look fabulous. You Thank love the hat. Thank you. you. need a little bit more purple, I think. Oh, you're right. You're right. We're not enough purple. Yes. How are we doing today? Fantastic. Good. Wonderful. I'm going to go to the costume parade later. Somebody oh, needs to go to sleep fun. for a little bit. I know. I think oh, we're going to yes. so. miss oh, no. Understandable. We do have to get our beauty sleep sometimes as well. <laughs> yes. We'll be back. We'll be back, though. Oh, boo. Perfect. Boo. 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 Sleep. Boo. Yes. Yes. Well, we do have some contracts. Alright, next stop, Granny's Apple Fries. Yes, the best part about coming to Legoland. And this is what we're getting, the Rockin' Frankenstein's Apple Fries for $9. Rock out with electric right. purple apple fries, uh, apple fries served with Sasha crushed Reese's, Reese's candy and, and uh, peanut butter dip. I love it. Oh my goodness, there they are. Look at how delicious these look. I don't know what the purple is. I think that's part of the dusting on there, but it's definitely got crushed Reese's pieces. And then we've got some peanut butter to dip it into. What do you have, Jackson? What did you get? A little bit drippy. What little, is it? A little bit drippy. A little bit drippy on the ice cream? So here, watch. You can get that whole piece like this. Look. Whoa! What do you think, buddy? What is it? Is it ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> so Jackson got his own ice cream. And he said, I'm all done. And I thought he meant he was all done with the ice cream. And I said, are you all done with the ice cream? He said, no, I'm all done sharing it with you. <laughs> he said, it's all mine. He said, it's all mine. Okay, it's a lot of ice cream. I will say What's too, the apple fries, they're meant to be dipped in peanut butter, but the peanut butter is like hard. They should probably, yeah, they should warm, probably it up. warm up the peanut butter. So we've been dipping it in the ice cream and it's so much better. So if you get these, get some ice cream to come with it. Can I uh -oh. just dip a little bit of Daddy took some. Just a little look. Like the warm apple fries with the cold ice cream is so good. Mm. He said, I need to get the crumbs out because you dipped your apple fry in there. Oh no, but it makes it more delicious. They're playing Ghostbusters right. on the carousel right now. <laughs> Can't really hear it. Oh, is this for me? This is POV. Your wife is feeding you ice cream. <laughs> come over to the, come over to the chute right here, buddy. Oh look, it's gonna go down the candy slide. Whoa, Whoa. good job. Pick it up and put it in. You gotta put them in your bag. Say thank you. Good job. Thank you. Hold your bag open. You gotta help it, buddy. Say thank you. Whoa. Last spot is the Legoland Coffee Company for one last treat before we leave. This is what we're gonna stop in and get. The Great Monster Cake for $7. Pumpkin cake served with gooey cream cheese filling topped with candied papitas. Something that I was not expecting was for them to warm it up, but 
I'm gonna let me get some candy for you too. Hold on, I'll get you a bite in just one second, buddy. <laughs> I ate one of those. That was a pumpkin seed. A pumpkin seed. I, I ate them. Did, did you like it? I ate a little bit of this big, big water. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I really like it. It's Wait. very like cinnamon heavy, but it's um, it's not super sweet. I thought it was going to be really sweet. Yeah. But I think it's really nice. It's good. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of like a like a breakfast cake. Yeah, I was gonna say that. All right, I think we're gonna call it a day. Uh, it was a fantastic. That's right. And there's Chewbacca. Look at how tall he is. They're just kind of hanging out with me. All right, yeah, we are headed out right now. I really wanted to go into the big shop because as annual pass holders, we get a discount on Lego, like Lego sets. We can get big Lego sets in there, and they have a lot of the ones that are hard to find in there. So uh, next time we come, we'll definitely be doing that because we gotta head out. So. We're heading back to the car, and we're headed back home. I wanted to point out that this Monster Party, Break or Treat Presents Monster Party, is Saturdays and Sundays, September 24th through October 30th, because October 31st is a Monday. Zombie Cheerleader was one of the new characters this year that we didn't get to see. Dang, I wish we had though, she looks awesome. All right, so there you have it. That was our trip out to Legoland, Florida to go to Break or Treat and to see the Monster Party. It was a lot of fun. Like we had a great time. We had to see a bunch of characters. Got to see the VIM party, very important monster party. Uh, we get to try some treats, did a little bit of trick-or-treating. If I had any complaint, I think that that's what it would be. The trick-or-treating started later, it started at 2.30. So us getting here early in the morning, trying to get this out of the way before Jackson's nap, didn't really work out to our advantage. There were the two that we went to opened at 1 and 1.30. So those were open a little bit earlier, but the ones in the back of the park weren't open while we were here. That's okay, we still had a fantastic time. Jackson got on the Dragon roller coaster. He drove a car. We put out a fire, we ate some delicious food, we got to meet some characters. Was it a good time? Did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah, are you glad you rode your roller coaster? <laughs> yeah, it was great. So I think this is definitely one of the best Halloween events, especially for little, little kids in Florida, in like the um, surrounding like Orlando area. It's included in your admission. I think that's amazing. Yeah. You get candy, cool characters. And it was definitely perfect for Jackson's age range. He loved it. Yeah. There's so many rides, and even me being pregnant, there was so much stuff that even I could do here. So I wasn't really left out today either, which is nice. Yeah. So, so all in all, a fantastic day. Everything is awesome. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.